you may wind up pushing this person away we have i love you angry betrayal and reconciliation yeah see i feel like some of you're gonna walk away from this person because you just feel like you can't trust them no matter what they say no matter what they do it's like they do one thing and then have you believing that there's a possibility that you guys can work through this and then the next minute they're gone Welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. All right, so we're going to get four cards here. And if I need to get more, I will. Okay. So we have ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. You have irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. And sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. So this is what your person is feeling and thinking right now. Let's see. I want to pull two more. And then we'll get some tarot and see where this is going. For this quick energy check-in. Spirit, give me two more for Taurus. reflection being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity so this person is gaining clarity about you guys situation and we have unsatisfied i wasn't happy the way things were going all right so something was happening in this connection and i feel like both of you were being quiet about it you were feeling certain things but not speaking up and then it may have turned into an argument some of you were arguing by text message and then you just stopped talking so it's like you guys both left the conversation open-ended and so you have no clue uh, as to where you stand with this person. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus for this quick energy check-in reading? What do they need to know? Taurus. Taurus. Okay. All right. So this person still loves you with the two of cups popping out here. some of you this is an air sign i feel like um what hurts you the most about this person if you're resonating with this reading you feel like this person uses you sometime it's like when they need something they know where to find they know how to find you they know how to call you they know how to talk to you but there could be a third party here in the mix that's causing a lot of disappointment and heartbreak and i feel like you keep telling yourself i'm not going to help this person out I'm not going to give them anything. And then when they need you, you show up for them. And then you you feel bad about it afterwards or you feel some sort of resentment afterwards. And it may not be that you're giving anything to this person. For some of you, it's just your, your attention, your emotions, your, your affection. And you feel like afterwards they don't deserve it because they go right back to their same behavior. What messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know? Oh, I have to stop these cards from falling. All right, so there's an earth sign thinking about you. So you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. This person is in the reverse because they feel like you're not being fair about something. Also, this may be someone who has money issues. You guys may have a... Um, Something here about money caused an argument. And you may feel like the conversation is not over. You still need to get to the bottom of it. This person is very emotional right now. Or you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They're not ready to speak up about their feelings. They want you to talk. Somebody wants you to speak up. I'm hearing. Yep. Could be a fire sign that wants you to speak up in Aries Leo or Sagittarius. But I'm here when you say, Taurus, when you start being honest, I'll change my attitude towards you. So some of you are like, no, I'm not changing my attitude. I'm being stubborn. I don't want to speak up. I don't want to talk. Yep. 
Queen of Pentacles reverse. So we have the King of Pentacles reverse, the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This King of Pentacles is being stubborn. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo that's being really stubborn. And, and even though this person is thinking about you, they're not wanting to speak up right now. It's sort of like um, this is a pattern that this person usually um, keep themselves in. Like if you guys go through something, instead of them just speaking up and saying what they feel, what they think, they'll just hold it, keep it to themselves. I don't feel like this is something that they've done in many relationships prior to your relationship with them. But there's a fire sign who here who's in the upright, possibly a Leo, that's wanting to um, talk or work things out. Yep, six cups. But they're they're watching and waiting. Or this maybe this is you watching and waiting. The two of pentacles. Some of you are questioning whether you're gonna deal with this person. Did you see that? Just pop out the deck like that. Somebody sees you as a missed opportunity, so they're not going to let you get away, Taurus. But I feel like what's bothering you the most is that you have no clue what's going on with them. Well, there is love coming in with the Knight of Cups. I feel like one minute this person is watching you, and then the next minute they're like mad at you or angry because you won't. It's like they expect for you to act some sort of way, and you're not doing it. But they still plan on giving love to you they're just not right now this person may even be gossiping about you they may be talking about you to someone else now they're still hanging on with the four of pentacles so what messages do you have for oh, a hangman it's pisces energy here some of you don't have the strength to do this with this pisces anymore even though you're still hanging on to them and they're still hanging on to you you're like okay i don't feel like doing this with this pisces or leo you're wondering. I feel like you're just in your head, but you're quiet. You're silent. You're holding back. You're not saying anything, not doing anything. You may have even stopped being on social media for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or something. So what messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, you guys are very um, adamant about holding back. But it's just going to make this person come towards you because they're feeling some type of way. This person wants to know if you really love them, like how can you hold back from them? It's like they may be questioning that with the Seven of Cups. They're in their feelings. They're in their emotions. They're thinking about a lot. They're trying to search for purpose in the connection. Like they may be asking themselves like, what do they see in you? What is the true reason they love you? Like, why am I with Taurus? Or this is you asking yourself this about this person. You're like, okay, if they don't act right, they don't treat me good. We're always arguing. Like, why am I with this person? It could be a Scorpio here with the judgment card. Or there's going to be a wake-up call with this person because the Five of Cups is here. So they're realizing something. Even though you're being stubborn and you're holding back, is how they're seeing the situation. Somebody is like... Um, if Taurus doesn't talk, then I'll talk. But it's just like they don't want to, but they know they should because of this Ten of Swords. They betrayed you in some sort of way. They stabbed you in the back here. I thought this person is not used to um, saying sorry, apologizing, giving in. They'd rather for the other person to, yep, they'd rather for the other person to do it. I'll tell you, they're not used to it. We have the Five of Swords reverse. The Nine of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. This is someone who's like, I'm going to make up with Taurus. I feel like they keep saying they're going to do it and then talk themselves out of it. It's like every day they're like, okay, should I call Taurus? This person may even pick up their phone, scroll through their phone, see what you're up to. Say they're going to work something out with you. Like they may be saying to themselves, it's time to compromise. This person thinks about you a lot at night, whether you know it or not, or they... they watch their phone at night or something here with the nine of swords they're at the they're at a breaking point even though they may have been isolating themselves and you were isolating yourself this person's at a breaking point um taurus they're trying to hold i feel like somebody's trying to hold out though to see if you talk first or if you text them first well here comes the love with the page of cups 
Yep. After dragging their feet with the Knight of Pentacles, this person feels like they were unfair in some sort of way. Could be a Virgo here or an Aries. That's like, okay, um, we also have Libra energy as well. They're like, um, let me just go ahead and take the leap of faith. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like they're getting advice from someone. They may be talking to someone and they may, the person that they're talking to may be like, just go ahead and reach out. Just text them, text Taurus and see what their response is or something here. Yeah. Page of Wands. For those of you who are waiting for this person to reach out, this is the good news card. We also have the star card here. So I do see healing in this situation. Um, I feel like this person already knew that they weren't going to end this because the world card is reversed. They were just causing conflict here, again, because of their ego. Because we have the five of, five of wands in the world reverse. So this is somebody who already knew that at some point you guys were going to make up. If you, um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius or a Scorpio, they feel like this constant arguing and conflict is um is your fault for some reason they they either feel like it's your fault or they feel like you take things too far or maybe you guys were having a conversation and then it got out of control and something was said here i feel like something was said i don't know with this page of wands this could be a younger fire sign an aries leo or sagittarius that's really immature and you may feel like this person can't have a conversation with you. They don't say the right things. I feel like somebody feels like you um, you don't respect their, uh, the way they see things. You don't respect it. You may feel like, this person feels like you, you feel they need to think like you think or be like you are. All right, let's get one more. Yep, here they come. With the Knight of Swords energy here. This person doesn't like the fact that you cut them off with the Queen of Swords. So it's either you cut this person off or when you guys stopped talking, yep, you were like, okay, cool, fine. It's whatever. <laughs> and now, so this could be an air sign for some of you, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, because we have the Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. But um, with this Queen of Swords energy, this could be you cutting them off. And this person is wondering, if you say you love them the way you do, how can you hold back here? But I'm hearing when you start being honest, I'll change my attitude. So I feel like that's how you're seeing this situation, Taurus. So those are the messages that I have for your quick energy check-in reading. Thank you for watching my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.